Hey everybody, welcome back to the video side of Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. Right off the top, I want to thank everyone who watched that first video and offered so much amazing feedback and encouragement. I am loving this so far, and I'm really happy you are too. So in that last video, I showed you a basic bash script for easily reinstalling your favorite software when hopping between various Debian or Ubuntu-based distributions. Today, we're going to build on that by effortlessly backing up and restoring our data and documents. The goal? Make it faster and easier to install a different Linux distribution and get back to working or playing. But first, I want to point out a mistake I made in the last video. It was a typo in that first line of the bash script, what's known as the shebang. I showed you an exclamation point followed by a hash symbol, and it's actually the other way around. The script should still execute, but we do want to do things the right way, so I'm sorry about that. So you don't have to be a chronic distro hopper to appreciate this tool. It's called Deja Dupe, and it's one of the simplest and beginner-friendly ways to keep your data backed up. Set it and forget it. You can install Deja Dupe by searching your distro software store or by typing sudo apt install deja-dupe into the terminal. Certain Ubuntu-based distributions might already have this pre-installed, so try hitting your super key and typing backup first. And thanks to Snaps and Flatpaks, Deja Dupe is distro agnostic, meaning it's going to work on just about any distro out there as long as you have either Snap or Flatpak support installed. If you haven't done that yet, the websites for both of these platforms give you really simple instructions on how to get all set up based on what you're currently running. And I'll have links to those websites in the video description. For this video, I'm pulling an example straight out of my actual life last week. I'll be backing up everything on Pop! OS 1910 with my Oryx Pro, and then restoring it onto a Dell XPS 13 that's running Peppermint 10. And these are both based on Ubuntu, but you do you. The instructions should remain pretty much identical. Choosing what to back up is really straightforward. Just click the Folders to Save tab, hit that plus button, and then browse for the folders you want to back up. Let's say you want to back up your entire home folder, but not your downloads folder. The fastest way is to just choose your home folder and then browse to the folders to ignore option and add downloads to your ignore list. For this example, I'm just going to save my desktop folder and all the source files for my podcast episodes. Ah, but wait! I forgot to include that script we wrote in the first video. After I restore this backup on that new machine, I want to run that script to get all my favorite software installed again. No problem. Just click the plus button and add anything that you've forgotten. And you can do this at any time, even after a backup has already been run. Okay, next, let's choose a storage location. I like to back up to a really beefy mini SD card because it's easy to swap back and forth between my laptops. So I'm going to choose local folder and then browse for that. Now you can choose your schedule. Now I prefer and recommend daily. And since it's only backing up newly added or changed data from your selected locations, only that very first backup is going to take a while. The rest should be much faster. If you've chosen automatic backups in the scheduling tool, Deja Dupe will fire up every day and do its thing without much distraction. Just a quick notification that it's active. And if you want some added peace of mind, you can choose to password protect your backup as well. Okay, let's move this backup over to a newly installed Peppermint 10 over on my Dell XPS 13 and do everything sort of in reverse. You may need to install Deja Dupe on your new machine or new distro, so knock that out real quick. Then let's launch it and restore everything we just backed up. So click the Restore button in the Overview tab and restore it from a local folder. Deja Dupe will then check for backups, and if you have more than one, 
it'll ask you to choose the date of the backup. So if in doubt, always just go with the most recent one. What I especially like is that I can restore all the files to their original locations. Same folder hierarchy, which my muscle memory appreciates. If you want, though, you can totally restore your data anywhere you want. And we're done. I hope you found this guide useful. I use this on a daily basis, which is why I strongly recommend it. The goal here is being able to explore and discover all the nuances of these various distros, but stay productive and get back into your groove as fast as possible. Thank you so much for watching. And remember that subscribing to this channel also gets you the weekly Linux for Everyone podcast and future live streams. Want to see a topic covered? Drop a comment right here. Until next time, take care and take care of each other.